9.4 pounds so I'm going to take out the bone that runs through here so you have to get the top of the bone and bone this out for making buckboard bacon yes I like slapping my butt okay let's open her up see the, the bone that runs through here and what we're looking for on the top is well let me show you we have this bone hopefully this is the right orientation you see this bone running through there and we're gonna look for this right here which is right there and the first thing we're gonna do is slice along this flat side of the bacon or the pork butt and remove this portion right here for the buckboard bacon. Then we'll bone out around this odd looking bone to remove the top portion. So let's find that flat side. You see I'm just following along the bone. Okay. Open it up, and I'm barely touching the, the meat. I'm not really cutting. I'm just kind of releasing it from the bone. When you get over here, you can see you can feel the bone going around that way. But for the buckboard bacon, we want the majority of the meat. So grab a big knife here. You can see we're gonna we're gonna continue to cut straight down through here and take this whole big portion right here for the bacon. Good sharp knife. Now let's move that bones piece out of the way for a moment. And we'll get some of this trimmed up. Now for the bacon, you could probably leave this on. In fact, for this person that I'm making this for, I think I will leave that fat on because they, they told me they like a little more fat on their bacon. And buckboard bacon tends to be a little bit lean. So we'll leave that for that. Now this will go right into the cure that we'll uh, put together and I'll show you that in another video. But that was as easy as it gets for removing the buckboard bacon. Now when you go to slice it, you'll slice it in this direction here. It'll give you nice wide pieces of bacon. But now let's get that bone out of there. That odd looking bone. Now we're back to the top. And you can see the shape of that, that, that bone. Now this is a little bit reversed, but Actually, it runs, yeah, this is off the opposite side of the animal. You can see this is the, the back side, or the other, the opposite side. It would run in this direction. But you're going to follow the contour of this bone. And we're going to start up here in the corner and go around it. And again, just let your knife do the work. Just pull it back as you go. And then go right in here and follow that bone. Open it up, get in there, and when you, when you get to this part, you just want to continue following it around. And if you do this slowly, take your time, no rush, the animal's already dead. See how, see how I'm getting that, that, that curve to go now? Right. The hardest part is when you get over the top to this part right here because the top of that is very close. You can see the fat on here. 
Sometimes there's more fat, you can go over the top without breaking the fat. Other times you have no choice. Now when you get here to this part, you can follow that along. Now I'm leaving that over the top part until I last. So I can free up as much as I possibly can. Now I'm getting over the top. And it's just like a roller coaster. Just over the top, around the other side. Turn the meat as you need to. Follow the bone. Get that out of the way. Follow the bone. Try not to hack at the meat. If you follow the bone, you'll leave very little meat. Look at there. I'm already freeing it up. Just follow around. Just remember this bone is the opposite, so I'm going to have that curve going this way that you would right here. Right. Now you can grab the bone, let gravity do the work. Follow the edge of the bone. Look at that. Pops right out. There's very little meat on the bone. There's that fat that we couldn't go under. There's a little bit of cartilage here. So there's the, the bone. Now this can be used for buckboard bacon as well. It seems it's a little bit more raggedy than, because there's not as much meat as the, the other side. But you could use this for buckboard bacon. I like to go ahead and cure it and slice as much as I can. You get a little bit of bacon off, but this half over here becomes some really nice bacon for our seasoning. You can throw it in beans, uh, you can throw it in rice, uh, lots and lots of things you can do with it. Uh, of course, there's this nice fat cap on this side, so if you do like a little uh, more fat with your bacon, you can uh, definitely get it, get it from this side. And bonus out for making pork bacon. This is your boned out pork butt for buckboard bacon. Give it a try, it's not really hard. You'll save you a little bit of money over buying one that's got a bone in it. Uh, in fact, you can pick these up sometimes on sale for less than $2 a pound. So enjoy, have fun, give it a practice, watch it over and over again until you get it down pat. But just follow that bone, follow that bone, and you can't go wrong. The bone will tell you where to go.